Okay. Welcome back guys to another one of my videos and today I'll be telling you guys some very recent information released by the internet and some articles which basically revolve around the fact that Grand Theft Auto 6 may have been delayed due to the immensely successful release of the Diamond Casino and Resort DLC in GTA Online. The reason for this is that new DLC that's just been released a few weeks ago saw a huge surge in player numbers. A surge higher than what any other DLC has managed to achieve. And it's also the biggest surge in player numbers since the release of GTA back in 2013. So this is some really good news for the game as well as for the company Rockstar Games. And if you were in that position, wouldn't you want to squeeze all that juice GTA 5 can make for you? And once GTA starts dying, then release GTA 6? After all, this isn't all about continuing the series, unfortunately. It's more about being successful in the video game market. And in today's world, you wouldn't throw away a big video game like GTA 5 if it still got potential for your company. And so it's pretty understandable why the release date for GTA 6 has been delayed. And this might not be such bad news after all, because delaying GTA 6 not only means that we'll be able to spend more time playing with our beloved GTA 5, we'll get even more DLC for GTA 5 as well, so more content to keep on the lookout for. But most importantly, delaying GTA 6 will mean, most likely, that GTA 6 will be released exclusively for the next generation consoles, and I'm not talking about PS4 or Xbox One, I'm talking about PS5 and the next generation Xbox, which I believe it's called Xbox Scarlet. Correct me on that one if I'm wrong. But honestly, I couldn't care less about Xbox. So us console players will be forced to buy the new consoles if we so choose to play the sequel to GTA 5 and the newest video game in the GTA franchise. Continuing on with the conversation, it looks like Rockstar Games may have opened up job listings in order to recruit or employ new members into their company to as they stated it, create the largest open world game ever in the video game industry, which very understandably insinuates at the massive open world game that will be awaiting us once GTA 6 is released. If Rockstar has said that it's going to be the largest video game open world ever to have been created to date, that must also include the RDR2 map. So GTA 6's open world map should be bigger than RDR2's map, which is very amazing to think about. I don't know how RDR2's map would feel like with cars, bikes, planes, or helicopters, but I'm pretty sure the map is way bigger than GTA 5's. And yes, it is bigger, because it was also confirmed that when RDR2 came out, it would boast of the world's largest open world map ever. But apparently GTA 6 is here with its own map, ready to lay its own record. Also, this post on Twitter by this data mining user that goes by the name of Jackomaco51 says that he's found some encrypted code with the words RDR2 PC accomplishments, which everyone believes. That this indicates that RDR2 will be first coming out on PC, so what Rockstar are going to be releasing next is RDR2 on PC, which also means that GTA 6 must come out after RDR2 on PC has been released, which means that we're going to have to wait an even longer time for GTA 6 to come out. There have also been other rumors emerging and leaking information about GTA 6's setting, protagonists, the time and date of it being set in, as well as the previously mentioned consoles on which the game will be releasing, which are PS5 and Xbox Scarlet. The leaks say that GTA 6 will take place in the 70s or 80s, so in the 20th century, and that the story mode will feature only one playable protagonist. I personally didn't don't like the fact that there will only be one playable protagonist for GTA 6's story mode campaign. I love GTA 5's three protagonist based story mode campaign, and I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to see the three GTA 5 protagonists make a comeback here in GTA 6. So that's Franklin, the street hustler Michael, the rich man with a spoiled family, and Trevor, the drinking rage infused bastard that wakes up on Mount Juliet every single time he passes out. You guys might think it does become sort of repetitive, bringing in the exact same three protagonists from GTA 5, but honestly, they're the freaking best, and just like my childhood started off playing with, with these three GTA characters, I want to go through life playing with these three characters, and then when I get cancer and have three years left to live, Rockstar will release a new GTA game where all of these three characters die in the end, so that I'll die knowing that I'm going to heaven with all these three boys. Just kidding, guys, but I'd really love to see at least one character from GTA 5's story mode campaign make it to GTA 6. Preferably as a playable protagonist, not just some worthless NPC like LGT from the biker businesses that no one gives an F about. Also, rumors abound on the fact that GTA 6 will take place in Vice City, and strangely enough, in Rio de Janeiro, 
Not too sure why people might think GTA 6 will take place in Rio de Janeiro, but there have also been rumors of GTA 6 taking place outside of America, a country in which all of the GTA installations have taken place. So Rockstar might be considering opening up their open world games to the outside world, since America takes up probably less than 2% of Earth's surface area, so there's a lot in the world to discover and explore. But what I'm not quite getting is why has Rio de Janeiro been picked, not any other area on the map. If GTA 6 is set in Vice City, which is nearly 100% confirmed, we just need Rockstar's confirmation. But if GTA 6 was truly set in Vice City, which realistically is set in Miami, and Rio de Janeiro was also in the game, I have no idea how Rockstar would make about this, because they both are very far apart. To be exact, Miami is over 4,000 miles away from Rio de Janeiro, so if Rockstar were to join both of those areas together, they'd have to include pretty much all of Brazil in the middle. And I'm pretty sure I'm going crazy right now with what I'm saying, but this leak of Rio de Janeiro is really stupid in my opinion, and I don't understand why, just why did someone ever think about this stupidity? But this is just a matter of time, so once RDR2 on PC comes out, I hope that the upcoming big project for Rockstar Games is GTA 6. And I'll keep you guys informed, just like the news your parents make you watch at the dinner table. So yeah guys, this was today's video. This was my first video trying out to inform you guys about leaked information, news, etc. So if you guys like me doing this, do hit and wreck the subscribe button for more of this type of content. If you have any suggestions as to what you would like for me to feature in future videos, do let me know down in the comment section. Also know that if you subscribe, you get shouted out in the next video. But make sure that you have your subscriptions to public, because if not, I won't be able to see that you've subscribed. Also, hit the like button, comment, and share, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Wreck that subscribe button!